Yeah, we're back. Oh, man. All right, all right, last time I was having a bit of a problem. Yeah, but we were also, like, up, like, two hours past our bedtime, so. <laughs> yeah, my mom even came in here and yelled at me. Yeah, he got grounded. It was great. Yes. All right. It's it's weird playing this during the day. Yeah, Because it seems like every time we play, it's, like, it's like 1 o'clock. Yeah, we're just like, you know, it'd be a good time to play this, like, in the middle of the night. That's when we do most of our recording sessions. Oh, well, yeah, but, like, it seems like Zelda, for some reason, is just so much later than Billy. <laughs> Billy. Yeah, Billy Hatcher's a thing that happened. Okay. No. Take your time. <laughs> that was a thing right there. <laughs> is it? <laughs> maybe that Lizafo's still up there trying to kill me. Oh, maybe. It's still swinging its sword at me. Oh. <laughs> Wait, okay, I, wait, I got a key. Or no, I, didn't, I don't have a key. I need a key. Yeah. It's been like a, it's been like five weeks since we've played this game. I wouldn't say five weeks. It's been a while. Yeah, maybe. Uh, hmm. Oh, boy. I forgot how long it takes you to climb things in this game. Yeah, this isn't, this isn't Assassin's Creed. <laughs> well, that's a good thing. Assassin's <laughs> Creed is poo-poo anymore. I guess. One Whoa! Could, whoa. <laughs> I guess one could argue it was always poo-poo, but... I like the first one. It's okay. Yeah, Assassin's it's Creed 2... okay. Assassin's Creed 2 was good. Like, Assassin's Creed 1... Uh, it had a lot of control issues that the second one fixed, and, like, the story was better. But, uh... I think I tried that already. Then Assassin's Creed 3 happened and fucked everything up. <laughs> hey. Well, like, because they established this whole, like, story with Desmond, and, uh, it was like, oh, yeah, uh, the world's gonna end in 2012, so we gotta figure out what's going on before 2012. And then, like, Assassin's Creed 3 came out, like, I think in 2012? Or, yeah, like, around that, right yeah. around there. I don't know if that was the one that came out or if it was Assassin's Creed Revelations, but, like, it was basically, like, with the world not ending in 2012, uh, obviously, they had to, they had to change their story a bit, and basically they wait, made it so that, like... Okay, wait a second. Was... You, Ubisoft made that game. Right? Yeah. Did Ubisoft actually expect the world to end in 2012? <laughs> I don't know, maybe. <laughs> They're just all there with their tinfoil hats, like, it's gonna happen, guys. But, uh... Assassin's Creed predicted it. We predicted it. <laughs> but, uh, it was basically, like... Like, Desmond, like, died so that he could save the world from d December 21st, 2012. Right. And it... Like, just the... I don't know. They spent four games building up Desmond. Like, ma building his character. Only to, like, just... Kill him off? Only to kill him off, yeah. And then, like, because... You'd figure, alright, so they killed Desmond off. And there's gonna be somebody else that's, you know, taking up the mantle of Assassin or whatever. Right. But, no, they're basically like... Hey, so by the way, the evil company that we were trying to stop... They basically figured out how to turn the animus and your memories into, like, a GameCube. So everybody can play Assassin Ancestor 420 from their house. And that's pretty much, like, the story for all the other Assassin's Creed games is... You're, well, like, you're just playing Desmond's memories. Yeah, you're playing... Well, not necessarily Desmond's memories, but just, like, you're playing as an Assassin from downloaded memories at home on your Xbox... And they're just oh. like, yeah. Wait, so does that mean you're never outside the Animus like you are in the rest of the games? Um, in the, in Black Flag you are, uh, cause it's like, it's like this first person thing and you work and you're work, you're working at Abstergo, and then like those other people that were following Desmond around keep trying to break in and like, cause a ruckus, but for the most part you're just there like, just. Going through the motions, being an Abstergo person. I see. Yeah. You're like not even a person of interest. You're just like a generic. Yeah, you're just you. you're just Ted from accounting. Ted. But I don't know what you're talking about. I, it, Ted is my favorite Assassin's Creed character. 
I mean, I guess. Like, he, he's pretty alright, I guess. I don't know where to go again. You wouldn't. Am I going to have to look this up? You might have to. I don't want to. What? Do you know how long I had to look to figure out what we had to do in the forest temple? <laughs> Like you know how much time we wasted in the first temple? Yeah, a no. lot. <laughs> We're wasting a lot of time here too. Yeah, I know. I don't want to waste any more. I don't want to waste Just my time. Do me. Okay, you're doing it. I'm doing it. All right. But uh. Oh, there's oh there's a list photo up here. I always thought it was pronounced like Lizalfo. I don't know. I don't. I don't care enough about this. <laughs> yeah, I just like helm split him. <laughs> He's just like uh, <laughs> embed the master sort of on top of his skull. And this is the fire temple, is yeah, it? Yeah, the master quest fire temple. Master. Look up a look up a speed run. No, it'll be like somebody like <laughs> Z targeting while flipping through the walls. <laughs> this isn't where I'm supposed to go. I don't think. Yeah, master queet. That's what I want to look up. Master Queet. Master Queet. Master Bait. <laughs> yeah, I'm just back out here now. Oh my, oh my god! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> Did you see that? Yeah, I saw that. You like jumped from the moon down. <laughs> Whoa! I don't want to watch a 50 minute video yeah, about do. ow about the fire temple. Yeah, you do. Oh, I got maybe I think I have the compass now. Maybe that like helps me find the chest that I need to find. Yeah, I have the compass. I use it. Let me see where you're supposed to go after you get the compass. Do you already have the megaton ha uh, I do. hammer? Yeah, you get it like right at the beginning for some reason. Alright. Jeez. The doors will open and you can grab the compass from the treasure chest. You can now see where you are on the map. Climb back up from the room above and look for a blocked off corner behind metal bars. Perform yeah. another spin attack and you'll trigger a hidden switch. Oh my god. <laughs> There's also a treasure chest with bombs underneath one of the crates. Go to the north corner of the room. There's another fake wall that needs to be bombed. Just look on your map. It's the long corridor at the top. Blow it up and you'll find a hidden switch. Go to one of the small crates and drop it onto the switch. And then you talk to a Goron and get a key and then that should be... No, oh, damn it. No, oh, damn it. Oh, <laughs> I did say that word. <laughs> I thought it would... I didn't think I'd make one. I thought it would warp me to the last one. Good job. Shut up. This game's hard. Yeah, I could beat it. No problem. Okay. You want to play? Uh, no, I don't okay. want to play. What? Uh, Mitch was like, does anybody want a Pokemon Go to Knobles? So, like, uh -huh. you're probably just gonna walk around and <laughs> make Pokemon go at Knobles. That sounds fun. Eh, it's okay, I guess. It's... Like, it, it's weird. Um, like, because, <laughs> alright, so we were a roving gang, uh, minus Dylan, uh, me and a few of my other friends, we were just this, like, roving gang of, uh, Pokemon goers. Just walking around. That hurts to say, by the way. It should. <laughs> but, it hurt to hear. <laughs> but yeah, we were just walking around playing Pokemon Go. And, like, it, like, this police officer was like, you guys doing, like, a scavenger hunt? And we were like, no, it's this game. Check it out. And we were, like, showing it to her. Did you actually show it to her? Yeah. <laughs> We well like I felt like we had to like I'm just like no look it's a game I'm not breaking the law I swear <laughs> I'm standing in front of this empty building because I'm trying Shit. to capture Pokemon but we saw this we saw this older woman like pushing her kids in a like a buggy or whatever and she was playing Pokemon Go and she was like 
talking about like the gyms and stuff around right. and like it was cool because like i didn't expect it to like catch on as much as it Not did really I, guess. I did <laughs> well like i expected to see like people my age and younger playing it but there this woman had like easily like 10 years on us mm. but i don't know I, th- I thought it was pretty neat uh but it when it when it works it's great but getting it to work is a trial and patience that sounds like skyward sword <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I I had an easier time towards the end with Skyward Sword than I have with uh, well, yeah. Pokemon Go most days. Well, <laughs> like, did I tell you, like, alright, because my thing with uh, Skyward Sword was like, alright, so like, you're playing the game, and like, you suck at the controls. Oh, cause there's you... a chest right here. Is there a key in there? No. no. Bams! <laughs> well, like, alright, so... When you're first playing, you're not used to the motion controls at all. But, right. like, towards the end, like, you got it down to a science. Uh, so it's, like, you become a master along with Link. Yeah, like, I, I don't know if that's what they were going for or not, but that's that's what I felt playing do you know, it. Uh, do you know where that fake wall is? Uh, check your compass. It. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, let's blow also, it up with some Deku nuts. I'm working on it, all right? Get off my <laughs> balls. For a minute, I thought Navi oh, I just flew up there. What is... Uh, wait. Uh, did that, um... Did that do anything else besides... Oh. Yeah, it oh. raised them. Oh. Raise the stakes. Well, still need a key. You're gonna get one. Where? Somewhere. What? You're the one that read what to do. Oh. What do you do, Christian? Hang on. I'm stuck. Need help. I'm going. I'm going, alright? Get off my nuts. I need help. Let me go back. You were supposed to do a spin attack by those bars. I, can't, I need magic. <laughs> is my. Whoa! Is my problem. Well, then get magic. I need to be able to charge it more. Get magic. I'm working on it. I don't know where the magic is. It's just... There's no pots anywhere. I need to find the pots. Well... I don't know what else to tell you. I need pots, Christian. I need, like, All a right. like-like or something. Those usually have magic. I need a like-like or like something like. Also, I didn't realize I was talking. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well... That pretty much will wrap up this episode. We're going to find magic and then start the next episode. Okay. I can... Okay. All right, so we'll be back. (laughs) (laughs) Those fucking... That was Alpha. Oh! Watch this. Watch me fucking smack my head like an idiot. No, 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 no. Okay, there we go. Watch me smack my head like an idiot. (laughs) All right, kill this uh, Liz Alpha. Yes! Yay, magic! Alright, so when we come back, we're gonna break on through to the other side of that room. Okay, bye. Bye. Give me the sand!